Well, hi once again, and welcome back to all my loyal YouTube subscribers, and thanks once more for giving up your precious time to view further vintage old dirt bike machines here on my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, in this featured clip, we're going to take a look at another Italian stallion and uh, not a very common bike with regards to its popularity, so stay with me for the next few minutes as we check out Adrian Lappin's uh, 1982 TM125 Twin Shocker. Now this Italian made 1982 TM125 is just one of Adrian's race bikes as he also has uh, many other classic machines in his collection including uh, a lovely pair of very nice Huskies and a couple of CCMs. Now these TM machines may not be that familiar to many of my YouTubers but these Italian made bikes were extremely quick and were built of very high quality components uh, during their construction. Now the TM Motorcycle Company was formed back in 1976 when uh, two friends uh, Claudio Frenghi and Francesco Battistelli who uh, loved motorcycles and motorcycle racing decided that they wanted to build their own motocross of roaders. Now the actual TM brand name was chosen after both partners used the first initials of both of their sons whose names were Thomas and Mirko to give the new motorcycle company their brand name TM. Now this featured 1982 machine was actually TM's first ever water-cooled motocrosser and uh, naturally before this all TM's up to this point were of course air-cooled. Now naturally as this is an Italian built machine uh, Italian Marzocchi forks are uh, fitted to Adrian's bike and it's quite surprisingly though that uh, TM were still using drum brakes on their bikes in 1982 although that was uh, just maybe because this was just a little 125 that uh, they were still persevering with these old uh, drum systems. Of course many other manufacturers were beginning uh, to utilise uh, disc brakes already on some of their uh, off-road uh, motocross machines. Now the engine is a 125 two-stroke uh, water-cooled motor with a six-speed gearbox. Now Adrian's particular bike here was uh, actually ridden in the Italian Championships before it was imported into the UK more than uh, 10 years ago. Now this makeshift primary cover is uh, not an original fitment from that year although this is a mandatory requirement for classic racing in Northern Ireland in that the primary drive sprocket must have some sort of guard covering the primary drive. Now the bike has the standard wet multi-plate clutch with the water pump on the right hand side there of the crankcase. Now this bike has uh, fed its fuel by this uh, Makuni carburetor. Now back in the day many of these older TMs were not made for general sale by the company as they tended to concentrate on supplying bikes in bulk to uh, race teams. So. Uh, Hence again, another reason why this is uh, quite a rare little machine. Now this uh, engine had a full width single radiator on these TMs 
as opposed, of course, to our more modern day counterparts that uh, usually have a single radiator on either side of the front frame down tube. Now, an alloy fuel tank on these 82 TMs, and as you can see, Adrian's uh, tank is well worn with the amount of use and abuse this uh, little bike gets on the track. Some nice plastic uh, air scoops to direct that airflow into that single radiator. But make no mistake, these were very powerful and very quick little motors, these little uh, TM125s, and these were well respected engines all over Europe in their day. Now although these TMs are very high quality motocrossers made with the very best of uh, quality components, these TMs were among some of the most expensive motocross machines in Europe and uh, on average these bikes would cost you a thousand pounds more than its equivalent 125YZ Yamaha or Honda 125. Now almost certainly in 1982 these TM125s would have come fitted with a pair of Italian Corti Cosa rear shocks back in the day. But as you and I already know, these were worse than useless and uh, Adrian's bike now thankfully has a pair of uh, very high quality uh, Olin's shocks fitted to this little uh, 125 Screamer. Now for 1982 this little bike had a decent quality steel swing arm fitted on these uh, TMs which again is quite unusual as many manufacturers were already beginning to use alloy swing arms on their particular machines. But nevertheless this swing arm looks like it's uh, purposeful and uh, strong enough keep that uh, little 125 tracking uh, straight and true. Now although these bikes may not be well known to many of our overseas YouTube uh, viewers, these uh, Italian TMs were uh, going great guns in Central Europe in the early 1980s and were selling in good numbers in and around uh, France, Belgium and of course in their native country of Italy. Nevertheless, despite their very high price tag when you bought these bikes brand new, these were still excellent quality little bikes, very fast and of course TM are still making high quality motocross bikes to this very day. Now in the native Italy, TM not only supplied this engine in their motocross machines, they supplied a lot of these uh, water-cooled and even their air-cooled two-stroke motors for uh, go-kart racing. And as you can imagine, these uh, 125 uh, two-stroke motors were ideally suited to power these little uh, four-wheeled uh, go-karts. Although Adrian's particular example here is still a very rare little machine, there are not many of these uh, old TMs still taking part in classic motocross racing. Certainly not here in the UK, but uh, over in Ireland, uh, Adrian is keeping the TM flag flying high with his little 125. So hope you've enjoyed this uh, very brief look at uh, Adrian Lappin's TM125 from 1982. This video was brought to you in association with Wealthsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.